Go. Give it a title. Vote no on independence. We all agree that Scotland is a great country. It has achieved many great things, but we think differently about what is best for our country. Sport. During London 2012 and Sochi 2014, Great Britain achieved the understanding 69 medals. However, Scotland only achieved 15. Scotland will not do well in sport on their own, and we come from the UK, which is known to be a worldwide sporting success. Less than a quarter of the total medals came from Scotland, so we aren't doing very well in sport. Trams. Edinburgh's trams cost nearly £2 billion and cover exactly two bus routes. This goes to show that Scotland can't cope with fees of such an amount of money. It has taken seven years so far to build the trams and they're still not complete. Unless we stay part of the UK, we will find it extremely difficult to retrieve that amount of money. You may be wondering if we can restore that money by selling our oil on the market, but this next part shows you how we can't. <laughs> Oil. The Shetland Isles have told Alex Hammond that they will stay part of Britain and that he has no claims to the oil and gas fields under the sea that belong to the Shetlands. The oil workers in Aberdeen went on strike because their salary was cut too short. If we divide from Britain, their salary may be cut even more. This, is ma this means a massive decrease in not just oil workers' salary, but maybe everyone's salary. Joining the EU. If we become independent, we will have to join the EU all over again. This could lose lots of money and could take several years. Also, English people, English, Welsh and Irish people who live here may have to leave the country and go back. The conclusion. My conclusion is, uh, it is this is a complete waste of time, the independence thing. Alex Hammond is a slimy bugger. Uh, <laughs> I like the Union Jack as it is, and I don't want any scribbles on it. Thank you.